Hello, Sculpture students. Mr. Shaver here. This is part two of me building the dragon head. Um, thought I'd give you, show you the picture I'm using for my reference. It's a little picture I found online, but I liked the shapes of it and some of the details I thought I could make. So this is what I'm working with, okay? So in the last video, you saw me create the framework for it, and then I was gonna start building it out. So here is what I have so far, okay? Again, it was based on my template, right? So same shape as the template. I used a lot of wadded up paper that you can kind of see in there uh, that I taped down to kind of fill it out, okay? Along the back here where there was a gap, there's no paper inside here. I just used a piece of cardboard to round out and go along the back. Now, if you need to figure out how to do that, you have a, a strip of cardboard you want to use and you want to round it out, there's a couple ways you could do it. So move the camera down. One is you can create scoring. So you can do this at regular intervals uh, using a ruler. But what you can do is you just cut through the top layer, the top paper. So you do that a few times. Now, if you're doing a, a large piece, yes, you have to make quite a few cuts. And if you're trying to be really exact about it, it might take a little bit longer. But if you can kind of eyeball it, and get the lines pretty close. Once you do that, the cardboard is really easy to turn and make round, okay? That's one way to do it. Another way that you could do it, yeah, I actually used, I took cardboard, and I literally went up against the table and used the edge of the table, and then I was able to round it out a little bit. Now, it might take a few tries to do that, uh, but those are two ways you can use to take something that's a strip of cardboard and make it round. Now, notice that the cuts that I made were in line with the grooves of the cardboard. If I try and do it the other way, it doesn't work as well. So you have to figure out where the grooves of the cardboard are and plan accordingly, okay? So that is one thing I did. Now my next steps, I also have a big gap right here. Let me show you this. So I have a big gap right here in the head. I don't really wanna fill this all with paper. No one's gonna see that. So I took a piece of cardboard, similar to this, and kind of lined it up. Saw where I could draw a line, cut myself out a triangle. Now I had to go and uh, recut it a few times just to make sure it was going to fit properly. But now I have the kind of indent for like the inside of that head there, right between the uh, kind of horns area. And I'm going to tape and glue that down and fill that out a little bit. But I wanted to show you that before I did it. Now, in terms of the horns, okay, I have two that I'm making, right? So what I did is I took my template, right? And I drew it on a piece of cardboard, all right? So I would get this exact shape and then I drew out the horn based on the, uh, the silhouette, the template that I created. Cut two of them out. You can see where I cut two of those horns out, okay? And then I started filling them. Now, instead of crumpling up paper, something that we did in our first project, one of our first projects using paper and kind of rolling them. I used rolled paper and then I taped over it to create a 3D effect, right? And that will get glued down here, okay? Now I might go in later, and I might add some spikes along the top, all right? There's a lot more details to go on this, but you have to go one step at a time and save the details for later. So look at this, right? There's some spikes along the top I might want to add. There's a, an area of ridge around the eye I'm going to need to figure out. I'll probably do that with cardboard. There's a little horn on the nose, right? So there's all these details that I'm going to get to, but still right now I'm in the building phase uh, where I'm still adding and putting this together before I even get to the detail phase and before I can get to the paper mache part. So like I said, this project's going to take some steps. Uh, take your time with it. Enjoy the process, it's all problem solving. It's looking at the problem, figuring out what's gonna work, some trial and error, all right? And then I, of course, will be there to help you. Uh, but that is the fun part about building with stuff like this. It's just seeing what you can figure out uh, and those aha moments are really uh, nice to have. So I will update again as I get more done, but I wanted to give you the step two. All right, I'll see you again.